So I was recently told that it's so sad that I live my life in fear of something that's probably never gonna happen. This is referring to my statements about getting prepared for what's coming, but fear is an interesting topic, so let's talk about it. When we first moved off-grid, I didn't have any of the skills necessary to survive out here. I wasn't a big camper. I didn't spend a lot of time outdoors. I couldn't even start a campfire. I was ill-prepared. So within a few hours of being out here, without having any of the skills necessary to do this, and not even knowing what it was that I was up against, I was sort of overcome by fear. What's out in the dark? What was that sound? All the things. So at one point, I met a gentleman who had lived this way his whole life, who could tell I was out of my depth, and more than likely, in an effort to prevent me and my family from freezing over the winter, decided to mentor me. He took me over to a friend's house who had an extensive junk pile one day to look for a part that I needed. When we got there, he told me, keep an eye out for rattlesnakes. I'd remembered reading, if you make noise while you're walking around, they'll do the same, and you can just walk slowly in the opposite direction. So, I picked up a stick. I started tapping it on everything. I started stomping my feet as I walked. And I made this distinctive grunting, coughing sound, kind of like this. <laughs> this was gonna take forever. My friend said, are you okay? But me being completely focused on the overwhelming amount of danger that I had found myself in, didn't answer and I just continued on. After about an hour or so of searching around, eyes fixed on the ground, there it was the part that we were searching for. And it was peeking out from under a pile of sheet metal. I looked down at the sheet metal, which may as well have had a neon sign on it that said, rattlesnakes live here. And I smacked it with a stick. Nothing. I stomped my feet on it. Nothing. I cough grunted at it. <laughs> Still nothing. So I reached down in what feels like slow motion, flip over the piece of sheet metal, when all of a sudden something flies out past my face, my whole life flashing before my eyes. Who was gonna take care of my family? What about all the goals I had? I jumped in terror, falling flat on my back in the dirt. My friend, having seen what had just transpired, walked over, put his hand on my shoulder, and said, don't worry, Jason. It was only a butterfly. <laughs> So I've learned a lot since then. One of the things that I've learned is you only fear the things that you're not prepared for. And doing something effective to prepare for those things that you might be afraid of is oftentimes pretty simple. For example, I don't really worry too much about rattlesnakes anymore because the vast majority of rattlesnake bites happen right around the ankle. All I had to do was get a good pair of leather boots. I don't really live in fear of what's coming. I just prepare for what I can and so should you. Just look around a little bit. The world is wild. And if you're both not prepared for what's coming and not even the slightest bit anxious about it, you're not living in peace. You're just not very aware. So share this video with somebody who needs to hear it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Follow this account if you want to know more.